Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to touch base briefly on Power Automate pricing and licensing. Uh, this is just a brief introduction to licensing. I will not go into very many details, but uh, you get a feeling of what Office 365 Power Automate licensing is about. So, first of all, there is a free license which is uh, included in most Office 365 subscriptions. So that's a good sign. Of course, this free license has some limitations and I'll talk about them in a little, in a little bit. So uh, except uh, this free license, there are three major license type available uh, to purchase. And these license types are uh, per user plan, right? Per user with uh, RBA, so robotic process automation, and per flow plan. So let's let's dig a bit deeper and see what it really means. Uh, when we talk about the license differences, the major three differences that you should um, keep in mind are the following, right? First difference is um, you know how many requests API requests um, you can run per 24 hours. Previously, it was a number of flow that a user can run per month. Now it has been changed a bit, so now it's more about API requests per 24 hours. The free license has 2,000 API requests, and you know per user. And per user with RBA about 5,000 and the per flow has about 10,000. Um, what are these API requests? So this is basically an action in the flow which refers to, to, to API. So something, let, let's say you get an item from SharePoint list, this would be an API request. Or you, you do basically any action within the flow that you do this is an API request. If you exceed this limit, you know, you'll you have to upgrade your license. The second part is a run frequency. So it means if you have a scheduled flow, right, that you want to, to run based uh, on specific number of minutes or hours, you know, whatever, the minimum possible frequency for um, free flows is uh, 15 minutes and then per user, uh, flow would be five minutes and then per flow i am not 100 percent sure but it should be uh, either three or one minute so it should be less than that right so it means that uh, if you get per flow license you can run it very frequently if you get the per user license you run it relatively frequently and if you get the free license you know you have to wait a little bit so uh, this is uh, another point and one more uh, last point I wanted to mention is a uh, business multi-stage uh, processes. So if you build a multi-stage process, business process using Power Automate, then this option is available only in per flow uh, license. It's not really available in per user or in free license. This is a bit more advanced but this is just good to know. So these are the three main differences. Uh, one more point I want to mention here is if we compare the licenses, you see there is this license per user and license per user with attended RBA. So uh, what is the difference? You see there is quite a difference in pricing, about almost three times more. But um, if we look here you see what you get with um, attended RPA is you get one uh, RPA bot. This is mainly for legacy applications. So if you have some older code and you need to automate it somehow, you could use this uh, capability, you know, this uh, bot. And also um, the, uh, this AI builder service. This is also a bit advanced, but um, you get, you know, some credits that you can use to, to build some 
uh, AI um, uh, options in, into your uh, flow. So that's the thing. And also you get access to uh, Dataverse or what is previously known as Common Data Service. Um, if you get a per user plan, you do not get anything. And if you get per user plan with RBA, then definitely uh, you get access to Microsoft uh, Dataverse. So these are the main differences. Uh, when you purchase the license, of course, you know, the best option would be to, to talk to your technical uh, account manager, to your advisor and see what would be the best for you for, for a specific use case. But what you know, uh, you know, for sure, if the free license doesn't work for you, go with per user plan um, or per user with RPA. And if you have very, very heavy flows with uh, multi-processes and things like that, then go per flow plan. Of course, Microsoft expects you to purchase at least five Five, flow, uh, uh, five uh, flows per month because this 500 uh, US dollars includes five flows. And then also if you need additional ones, it will cost you another 100 per flow per month. So that's a brief introduction to licensing. I hope it has not been too confusing <laughs> and you'll be able to figure it out. But um, good luck with that. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.